Um, any chamber music fans here? Chamber music fans? So you know you're in a chamber group, you have to compromise, you have to work together. Uh, chamber music, for those of you who are not initiated into our building, is uh, the smallest uh, form of group playing. So we have major orchestras next door and big bands and jazz groups and all that. Chamber music is uh, probably debated on when it starts, but typically less than you know, seven or eight players when you don't need a conductor to do things small groups. And these groups are wonderfully intimate and great to work in. Uh, but you have to really, just like a marriage, you have to figure out how to work together. And I am in a little chamber group of my own, and Stan wants to do the rules of the gig. So this is a tune that I had not expected to play. Um, Justin, is it going to be okay to do rules of the gig? Huh. Stan has ruined the, the top of house. Um, so I'm going to do this tune. Um, I hope you like it. It's called The Rules of the Gig. Um, it's really something Stan wrote, so I hope you enjoy it. attending this event. I have become self-aware of the fact that I have not gone over some expectations for this performance. So let's take a moment to go over the, the rules, rules of the game. game. Please note, this is just a helpful reminder and not to call out to anyone. If you find you have been in violation of any of these rules, no worries. Now you know to avoid that behavior. Any 
objects at me. Stan, the computer. All right, Caleb. Objects not to be thrown can include tomatoes. Tomatoes. Your chair. Your neighbor's chair. An empty chair. Coconuts. Books. Or your firstborn child. Uh, Audience members are permitted to throw money, but paper books are preferred. We'll have to change in the paper bill and makes the paper bill go further. Number two. Please do not practice your instrument or your own or some electronic show during the performance. I would be very eager to put on this performance for you. And I will certainly get jealous of the attention your computer receives. I realize now that there are some expectations of Brian Cunningham that he should know of. I'll add these in as I continue. Brian, please arrive to the gig on time and be sure to wear the right clothes. Number three. Please do not cook meals in the venue during the performance. Setting up a room and light a fire may prove distracting to your fellow audience members. In addition, I cannot eat and may feel left out. Brian, please miss as few notes as possible during the performance. Remember that this is not a call out to anyone. Rule number four. Please do not commit treasonous acts against your stage during the performance. Sound check, I'm checking out of his weapons, but it's very good.